This is the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. So I don't know if you've seen this story or not, but apparently a black man was charged with a crime and has a $900,000 bail set to him. Okay, that's, that's not new, of course, but his mugshot has gained popularity. He had 20,000 views, which is, which is nothing. This is, the story itself is nothing, but I wanted, I wanted to do this story simply to illustrate something. Reading the comments about the mugshot, he's a really good looking guy. Or actually he's not a good looking guy. He's a black man with blue eyes and big pink lips, which is actually what uh, the vaudeville blackface people used to do, right? They'd paint their face black and then they'd uh, put on big red or pink lipstick to uh, signify that uh, they were uh, monkey-like looking things. So anyway, reading the comments, of course, the people saying, oh, well, it's good that that criminal, that punk is behind bars. So some news stories ran it as if he was like this big murderer or mass shooter or, or something like that, right? No, he was arrested for possessing a gun. We don't know why he was stopped, right? The stop might have been illegal. You know, we we, we don't concentrate on that part, right? Uh, you know, the police just stop black people at will because black people do not have constitutional rights. We have absolutely no indication of why he was stopped, but he was charged with possessing a gun. In the United States, that is not supposed to be a crime. I don't care who you are, right? And there is no indication of him having been this big, huge criminal with all sorts of uh, criminal records on him. When interviewed by the press, he says, I just want people to know that I'm not this some sort of uh, kingpin criminal. Of course, where do you think he's located? Yes. He's located in California, as the governor would say. So really, we're making people criminals for something that they're supposed to have a constitutional right to do, which is carry a gun. And for all the idiots saying, oh, this guy's a criminal, what is he a criminal of? He didn't shoot anybody. He didn't hold up anybody. None of those charges are against him. He's charged with possessing a weapon and then of course people are then reacting to the women that are swooning over his picture and saying they're idiots for being attracted to the guy he's an attractive guy regardless of what he did he's an attractive guy and my thing is he's rendered a criminal for something that he's supposed to have a constitutional right to do it's california and all of these liberal states who, who completely disregard the Constitution. And, of course, it, it, it all just comes down to this guy is black, he was carrying a weapon, and uh, California had, has made it illegal to have a weapon. Although the Constitution says it's perfectly all right to have a weapon and that you should. And the Federalist paper said it is your duty to have a weapon, to take up arms, and even to overthrow the government if, if, if it becomes tyrannical. Do you think possibly that our government has become tyrannical? I'll leave that up to you. Thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show.